welcome in this video we are going to see about ceramics ceramics are defined as any material which is hard brittle heat resistant and corrosion resistant materials made by shaping and firing a non metallic mineral such as clay at higher temperature traditional ceramics are made by taking any non mineral metal mixed it with water and make shaped it into a required shape then this material is allowed to dry and then fired at higher temperature such that this material becomes hard and brittle so there are certain characteristics of a ceramic material such as this materials should be having a density which is less compared to that of metals ceramic material should have a high boiling melting point or decomposition temperature high hardness and very high brittle high elastic modulus and moderate strength low toughness high electrical resistivity low thermal conductivity high temperature wear resistance thermal shock resistance high corrosion resistance so any material which has all these properties can be classified or defined as ceramics these ceramic materials are classified into six categories based on their applications one is glasses another one is clay products refractories abrasives cements and advanced ceramics these glasses are further classified into glasses and glass ceramics clay products are classified into structural clay products and white wares refractories are classified into fire clay refractories silica refractories basic refractories and special refractories so here we are going to see about the properties of each ceramic materials and their applications generally when we take any raw material take it to a higher temperature such that it becomes a molten one and then when we suddenly cool it which we call it as quenching glasses are formed when we uh, see our optical lenses or any containers or fiber glass they are glasses which are formed by the above mentioned process so these glasses are transparent and easy to fabricate this forms a kind of ceramics next kind of uh, ceramic is glass ceramic like we said earlier when we take a raw material and more make it a as a molten liquid and when we suddenly cool it we get a material which is glass and then when we give it a certain time with certain temperature inside the material nucleation starts which ultimately results in crystallization but it is not a complete crystallization it is a partial crystallization after polishing we get a ceramic material which we call it as glass ceramic for example if you take any glass material if you look into its microscopic structure there will not be any particular ordering or periodicity within this material when we anneal this glass it can be seen that at localized points there are certain periodic arrangements among the molecules or constituent elements these parts of glass are called crystallized material and there are also amorphous materials surrounding it hence it is termed as partial crystallization so glass materials or glass ceramics are polycrystalline materials which are produced through controlled crystallization that means it is not allowed to completely crystallize whereas crystallization is kept at a lower degree and these glass ceramics share many properties which has both which uh, both glasses and ceramic has these glass ceramics are defined as amorphous material with one or more crystalline faces which is produced by controlled crystallization clay products we know that widely used uh, ceramic material is clay they are inexpensive because they are available in uh, nature in abundance and they are easy to access these clay products are classified into two categories one is structural clay products which includes brick tiles and sewer pipelines these structural clay products are used in a place where structural integrity is required another category of clay products are white wares 
when the we see this uh, ceramic table wares or white chinese white wares they are uh, basically ceramic materials they have been turned white by firing this uh, clay products at higher temperatures refractories are uh, ceramic materials which withstand high temperature without melting or decomposing they remain unreactive and inert when we expose them to a severe environment first these refractories are classified as fire clay refractories where these refractories are used to build furnaces such that hot atmosphere is confined within the furnaces hence the surrounding structural members are intact second type is silica refractories which are used to prepare a containment vessel to contain acidic materials especially hydrofluoric acid which is highly corrosive in nature and third category is basic refractories which have been used to contain materials which are rich in magnesium oxide and calcium oxide so these uh, refractories are used to confine a harsh environment to a localized position let it be a fire clay refractory or silica refractory or basic refractories abrasive ceramics are materials which are used to wear grind or cut away other materials they should be having high hardness wear resistance and high toughness for example uh, tungsten carbide aluminum oxide silica sand can be termed as abrasive ceramics so we have seen all these things like uh, cutter or a driller or a polisher which are uh, coated with this kind of abrasive ceramics so that uh, we can able to work it on a uh, softer materials next type of ceramics are cements so cements forms a paste like substance when we mix it with water which subsequently sets and hardens we can form a solid a rigid structure with cements and these cements we use it for our regular uh, construction purpose in our day to day life advanced ceramics includes optical fibers which forms the backbone of our communication system which transmits light signals from one end to the other end without much loss other kind of ceramics are uh, ceramic ball bearings which are used in a place where high wear is happening within the material thank you